Sens fans, my name is Jordan Mady, and this is an SFT game reaction. It was some great offensive zone pressure from Curtis Lazar that led to a late David Leguan power play goal, giving the Senators a 4-2 victory in their final preseason game. Goal scorers for the Senators were Mike Hoffman, Mika Zibanejad, David Leguan, and Curtis Lazar. The Montreal goal scorers were Max Pacioretty and Andre Markov. The Senators gave up the most minor penalties in the NHL last season. Tonight in the first period, they took three penalties in 59 seconds, all three were cross-checking, and two of them were taken while they were already killing a penalty. Jaron Cowan took one of those penalties while he was clearing a Habs player from the front of his net. The problem was that he went too far, and that's just a simple lack of discipline. If I was Paul McClain this evening, Cowan would be sitting for the rest of the time that was left in that period, and would not get any more penalty-killing time for the rest of the game. It's the preseason making it an ideal time to hammer the message home. If they take 75% of the minor penalties they took last season, they will struggle to make the playoffs. And that'll do it for the red rage of the night. Teams must have their rosters finalized by Tuesday, and there is reason and evidence that points to the Senators keeping Curtis Lazar. I know, I know. Last video I was discussing why they wouldn't keep Curtis Lazar, but as Tyler Ray, aka Defense Minister, has pointed out on Twitter, there are other lanes for the Senators to take here. I originally made the argument that Matt Pumple would get the nine game tryout and Curtis Lazar would be sent back to the Oil Kings. Matt Pumple is on a two way contract and is waiver exempt until 2016 or until he plays 160 NHL games. With the rigid circumstances that come with Lazar, it wouldn't make a ton of sense to give Matt Pumple a nine game tryout when they can bring him up from Binghamton any time they want during this season. So why not take the maximum time allotted, give Lazar the nine game tryout, and send Pumple back to the farm? There's a ton of other details involved, including Mark Mathot's status by Tuesday, but what I've just outlined is another direction the team can go in. Thank you again for that, Mr. Ray. The Senators have reached the apex of the preseason and will soon select the team that will start the season. I will have that news for you as it breaks. That's it for tonight's SFT. Thanks for watching, and I will see you following Ottawa's first regular season game against the Predators on Thursday evening. This has been your host, Jordan Mady, for Hooked on Hockey Magazine. Stay red, Sense fans.